quick tip, make sure to check out the description box down below. What does Sugar say to this kid before bed? Sweet dreams, baby! Hey guys, how are ya? Diabetes is a word that can change lives in an instant, affecting millions around the globe. This chronic condition touches people of all ages and backgrounds. But what exactly is diabetes? How does it impact our bodies and what can we do to manage it effectively? Living with diabetes doesn't have to be a daunting journey. With the right information, support and care, it's possible to lead a full and vibrant life. Without further ado, let's get started. What is diabetes? Diabetes is a condition where there is too much sugar in the blood. Over time, high blood sugar can harm the body's organs. This can cause long-term problems like damage to large and small blood vessels, which can lead to heart attacks, strokes, and issues with the kidneys, eyes, gums, feet, and nerves. What is diabetes caused by? Diabetes can develop due to being overweight, lack of exercise, and genetic factors. It's crucial to diagnose it early to avoid severe complications. The most effective way to catch diabetes early is through regular checkups and blood tests with a healthcare provider. Can a person live a normal life with diabetes? The younger a person is when diagnosed with diabetes, the higher the risk of complications from the disease will shorten their lifespan. However, with effective management strategies, it is possible for someone with diabetes to live as long as someone without the condition. What are the different types of diabetes? Number 1. Type 1 Diabetes Type 1 diabetes occurs when the body can't produce insulin, leading to high blood sugar levels. In the UK, fewer than 10% of people with diabetes have type 1. The causes are not unknown and it can be prevented. Although often diagnosed in childhood, it can develop at any age, with a slightly higher risk if a close family member has it. Insulin therapy is essential for survival, either through injections or an insulin pump. Managing blood sugar levels is crucial to prevent serious complications. There is no cure yet, but ongoing research aims to find new treatments and cure. Number 2. Type 2 Diabetes High blood sugar can lead to health issues like heart attacks, strokes, and problems with eyes, kidneys, and feet called diabetes complications. Treatment involves regular health checks, staying active, eating well, and sometimes medications like insulin. Type 2 diabetes can go undiagnosed for years and affect people over 25, often with a family history. Prevention efforts are important and some may achieve diabetes remission, though there is no cure. Number 3. Gestational Diabetes Gestational diabetes occurs during pregnancy and affects women who haven't had diabetes before. It requires careful management through healthy eating and staying active. Typically, it results after childbirth and is diagnosed through a blood test between 24 to 28 weeks into pregnancy. If diagnosed, you'll receive extra care and support from your healthcare team. Helplines and forums are available for additional assistance and shared experiences. Number 4. Neonatal Diabetes Neonatal diabetes results from a genetic change impacting insulin production, leading to high blood glucose levels. It's typically diagnosed before the age of 6 months. About 20% of individuals with neonatal diabetes also experience developmental delays and epilepsy. It's a rare condition. Number 5. Type 3 C Diabetes Type 3C diabetes occurs when the pancreas is damaged and can't produce enough insulin. It's not as well known as other types, so it might be misdiagnosed as type 2. Sometimes it's called diabetes related to pancreatic disorders. If you have type 3C, your pancreas may also have trouble producing enzymes for digesting food. This type of diabetes only happens because of problems with the pancreas. Number 6. 
steroid-induced diabetes. Steroids can make your blood sugar levels go up by causing the liver to release more sugar and making your body less sensitive to insulin. This can lead to diabetes. You might not notice any symptoms if your blood sugar levels are only a little high, but if they keep rising, you might start going to the bathroom more, feeling very thirsty, more tired than usual, and losing weight without trying. Number 7. Cystic Fibrosis Diabetes Cystic fibrosis is a genetic condition present from birth, often diagnosed before age 1, where both parents pass on a faulty CFTR gene. Individuals with cystic fibrosis produce thick, sticky mucus, which can accumulate in the lungs, pancreas, and other organs. This buildup leads to various symptoms such as breathing difficulties, lung infections, and digestive issues. The thick mucus can also cause inflammation and scarring in the pancreas, damaging the insulin-producing cells and resulting in high blood sugar levels. As the pancreas can't produce enough insulin, blood sugar levels may keep rising, leading to a condition known as cystic fibrosis diabetes. Number 8. LADA or Latin Autoimmune Diabetes in Adults LADA or Type 1 and half Diabetes sits between Type 1 and Type 2 Diabetes, sharing characteristics of both. While it's not officially recognized as a distinct type, ongoing medical research aims to understand its unique features. Symptoms mirror those of Type 1 and Type 2 Diabetes, including frequent urination, thirst, fatigue, and weight loss albeit with a slower onset than type 1. Unlike type 2 diabetes, individuals with LADA often maintain a healthy weight. Thanks for tuning in to learn about these fascinating medical topics. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to understanding conditions like diabetes, cystic fibrosis, and their various forms. If you found this video helpful or informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others who might benefit. Stay curious, stay informed, and until next time, take care and goodbye!